for our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So we're going to get a glorious body as part of the blessings. See, we had to go through this weak ass body we're going through right now, going through all the sufferings of this weak ass body. So when we get that glorious body, we'll know what it feels like, man. When we get that glorious body, we'll be like, boy, I'm so happy I got this glorious body. Now I can fly, I can disappear. When it comes to satisfying my woman, I have no problem with that. She's done next. Who's the next one? You know? There's a saying a lion can mate up to 50 times a day. I've actually read it. A lion can mate up to 50 times a day. That's why the lion has the title King of the Jungle. Guess what our symbol is as Israelite men? The lion. Beginning with the tribe of Judah, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion is our symbol. Okay? The king of the jungle. That's what we're going to be as Israelites, the king of the jungle. <laughs> and the king of the jungle can meet up to 50 times a day. It tells you that in Isaiah, the 60th chapter, us Israelite men go have lots of children, man. A lot of children. Like the Lord told Adam, go and replenish the earth. We're going to do just that in the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be sex, sex, and more sex. For you brothers that have been sex deprived in this society, that's part of the curse. That is part of the curse that you're going through. That's going to change in the kingdom for us Israelite men. We're going to have the finest women, like that song by the SOS band. The finest. We're going to have the finest women in the kingdom, man. And they're going to be ready for us whenever we like. The only time we ain't going to have sex with them is on the Sabbath. As it is written, remember, keep the Sabbath day holy. And outside of that, in the high holy days, the high holy days where you're not supposed to have relations. But outside of that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we're going to make up for lost time. Better believe it. Oh, yeah. Now, women are going to be feminine. They're going to be beautiful. As they say, drop dead gorgeous. And nobody counts. Think about that. Drop dead gorgeous woman, right? With no body count. No body count. You'd be the first to test drive. If you look at a woman as a car, you'd be the first to sit in that seat and test drive that woman. And not only test drive, it's drive it, period, because that's going to be your wife. Your wife for life. <laughs> your wife for life. That's how it's going down in the kingdom, man. And that's called a blessing. The God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapodash. <clears throat> Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutation, the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Oh, it's like you're pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners. Who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you? How about Shemel Shah? And what I want to get into, all right, today, all right, the news and prophecy, you know, dealing with, you know, the things that's going on. You know, this has been a very active, you know, month, okay, of July. You know, a lot of things happening back to back. And it's all leading, okay, to the MOTB being mandated, 
okay, and this third world's war in which Yahweh Shah will come and conquer the heathens and end all heathen rule forever, okay, and establish the throne of David, okay, in the earth. And this is what we await. This is what we this is what we pray for. Okay, this is the faith and patience of the saints. Now, what I want to go into, I got a few videos, and what we're seeing right now is Esau is going heavy, heavy with enchantments, man. And it's causing a lot of division because people are taking hold onto all these different narratives that Esau is putting in the game. Okay, and then you go with this uh election. All right, it's pretty much, you know, a, a, a soap opera, okay? It's pretty much, you know, a scripted soap opera, you know, and, and WW, uh, WWF, man, okay? Ho Hogan, all right, on the scene, okay? And it's at least letting you know, man, that this thing is scripted, man. You know, and they put it right in the people's faces, but people are so dumbed down and operating on such a low frequency, and our people are blinded. Okay, to where they fall right in place, all right, with these narratives, man. And we're gonna go into these things. So let's start off, all right, because we got this. Uh, let's get these two precepts because what we're seeing, and you know, it's 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 an evil genius play that Esau eat them. Okay, the elites are running on the people. Okay, now with Jake, okay, you got jake divided between all right uh, uh, uh trump you know you got jake that you know think they woke okay and they're republican now and they're pro-trump all right and then you just have you know the super simple okay of our people and they with uh kamala so not only is there division between all right jacob and esau but their division between jacob and jacob and esau and esau Okay, and we're gonna get into it because when you get um let's get this in uh second Corinthians, okay. This is uh second Corinthians chapter four, verse three, okay. So second Corinthians chapter four, verse three said, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay, and here it is as the good news is being preached. You know, we're preaching of a kingdom of our own. Okay, our people are always marching, crying about the mistreatment of this kingdom. Okay, but they still trust in this kingdom. As the scriptures say, they trust in oppression. <laughs> you see? So we're hearing them, we're, 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 the, the word is being preached about a true kingdom, rulership, immortality, man, wealth, okay, paradise. All in Yahweh shot, but it is hid to them that are lost, and it goes into why they're lost, and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So, <clears throat> on one end, all right, Esau Edom, you know, has pre Esau controls our people, you know, like a remote control. He tells these niggas when to get mad. He tells these niggas when to celebrate. Okay. Here it is, you know, the George Floyd situation or uh uh uh, uh what's their first nigga name? Mike Brown. Okay. He he and, and it looked like he's finna do the same thing with this uh what's the little chick that just uh uh, uh called on Jesus and got blasted. Okay, I forgot her name, you know, but it looked like he's finna, you know push that as something to get them riled up okay and it's perfect timing all right this devil is calculated with these distractions okay you put kamala you know you put her name in the hat okay she just gets almost a hundred million dollars in one day in endorsements okay and then you got a, a tape going around with eve getting blasted and and best believe kamala Harris is gonna have a lot to say she's gonna have something to say about this little chick that got blasted you know, he, he has mastered, you know, cap capturing the emotions of the people, especially you Israelites, man. Okay, Esau, Edom controls our people, all right, like a, a, like a remote. You know, I say he he, he pretty much tells Jake when to get mad. 
when it gets sad, when to celebrate. All right. He gives them the two narratives to fight over. Okay. So you're going to have Jake, you know, calling each other coons and sellouts. All right. On both sides, Democrats and Republicans, man. But it's all all right to have your minds because the votes don't matter either way. Nobody vote matters. Okay. And, and, and who's in office doesn't affect the agenda of the elites, what they want to uh, bring forth. What you going to get into that? Okay. So the guys of this world, which is Esau, Edom, has blinded, okay, the minds of, uh, of our people. Okay. And this is why we got to continually be thankful that the Lord brought us out of darkness. All right, so you see this picture, okay, that's going on TikTok. All right, as you can see, okay, now just off back, all right, you have uh, Kamala, all right, Harris, who is she's, you know, the um, the nigga woman hero at the moment, okay, and then right beside her, you have um that uh, uh supreme judge okay which well, this is just off man then you have the gap you know you should be able to see her gap from wherever you at okay i think her name is stacy abrams and then you have michael or michelle obama all right now i don't know these other three but at the end of the day all right all these women stand for pure evil okay they're all with the alphabet all right, they're all pro alphabet. Okay, they're all feminists. Okay, they're all uh, 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 pro baby deletion. Okay, and whatever else wickedness that Esau Edom pushes, you see who's at the forefront, man. Okay, you see, you see who's at the forefront of, it. and these are, are idols unto our people, man. Okay, this is who our people look on for some type of uh, 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 salvation okay and it's going to be the complete opposite <laughs> okay now uh, uh, if a brother can post it you know how the woman you know the beginning of sin <laughs> and through her we all die okay women leadership which just heavily pushed and it pushes nothing but chaos dysfunction violence all right, and 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 and, 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 and it creates a what a feminine nation. Okay, as you see, black culture has become very feminine. Metro thugs, uh, trans. Okay, uh, 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 lesbianism is, is is you know extremely high. All this from the the the, the nigger woman being on the forefront. But well, see, Eve still takes hold of this man, but. It's, it's perfect. And the Lord got it playing out like this because the Lord wants everybody in the peak of their pride, okay, before he brings judgment, man. He wants everyone at the peak of their pride, okay? And then on the flip side, you go from there, okay? You got Eve. And then you got some niggas that's um, with, with uh, Kamala, all right? Simp niggas because it's nothing but the queen of heaven, Okay? Cause this is a, this is the, a lot of the men of our people came up in the matriarch man. So the woman is a is a hero to them. Okay, the woman leadership is a hero to them. Okay, their dear mama spirit. So let's um let's see find it's easy to find. So you have that end of the spectrum. Okay. Well, you got these women finna rally around Trump, okay? But on the flip side, let me see. So I can find this real quick. Put it on this simple nigga here, okay? 
put it on this simple nigga. So we're gonna see a lot of division, you know, going into November. All right, and you know how um So let's put this. You also had a, a, a point where you had, had a matter daddy, right? No. I don't know what happened. It's Trump all day over here, baby. It's Trump all day over here, baby. Yeah, all day we represent Trump. MAGA. Make America great again. And, and, and I, I can I can vividly re remember when America was great. I swear to God, I, it's Trump all day over here, baby. It's Trump all day over here, baby. Yeah, all day we represent Trump, MAGA, make America great again. And, and, and I, I can I can vividly re remember when America was great. I swear to God, I, it's Trump all. So you're going to see, you know, that division. All right, amongst Jake. You know, Jake is going to be more divided than ever because typically the majority of Jake could just be Democrat. It'd be automatic. But now there's a division, you know. So this Kamala Harris play, you know, was a play of division. It was an enchantment. All right. And just as usual, you know, Jake, you know, took the bait, <laughs> you know, and he's tied. And Esau just tying Jake into this narrative, man. They're, they're, they're getting Jake emotionally invested. Okay. Now. You go over here. Let's get this. All right, show you how. Um. Oh yeah, show you how Esau is divided over Trump. Okay, because you got Edomites that's divided over Trump. So it's division from every way. Okay, so I'm gonna play this because they have made Trump an idol. Okay. Trump has become become an idol, you know, a hero, you know, to a certain mindset in America. Okay, and these characters have been fabricated, you know, to cause division and ultimately cause a clash, man. You know, so let's play this. Welcome everyone to the Wake Up Call channel. Since the scripted assassination of Donald Trump, which I've been talking about for a few years now, actually occurred, since that happened, what we're seeing is Donald Trump being put up on a pedestal like never before. He's becoming an even larger figure than he already has. And all of the things that have been done to Donald Trump, which, of course, are all scripted, none of it is real, the charade, you know, sham of a trial that he's been going through getting prosecuted for things that they've done deliberately, making him look very minuscule so that it looks like the government is going after him because they're afraid of him. Psychologically, all these things do is make people support him more. And the government knows this by making him an enemy of the quote unquote deep state. It makes people worship him more. But the majority of people out there who are viewing him as a larger than life figure are looking at Donald Trump as an idol. They are idol worshiping, and we're seeing it worse than ever before. And unfortunately, these are Christians, for the most part, who are putting him on a pedestal and idolizing him, but will not admit to idolizing him. Now, the definition of idolize is admire, revere, or love greatly or excessively. And the excessive amount of love and the comparisons between Trump and God are becoming frightening. And you would have thought that this event this scripted event on Donald Trump's life would have woke more people up because we've all been warning about Trump and the deception over the years. This event was so poorly executed and how they are handling it since then, where the media has flipped, the liberal media is kind of building him up as well in a sense and not going after him as much. And of course, how Trump just rebounded and went out to the Republican National Convention right after this occurred. You would have thought that people would start connecting the dots with how some kid who looked like he just came out of an institution was somehow able to outsmart the Secret Service, get on a roof and not only fire one shot, fire eight shots, supposedly. You would have thought that maybe people would look at that, the same people who look at the thing that happened on the 11th day of September and realize that the narrative isn't what we were actually fed, that it wasn't two planes that were able to go through 
steel, right? Because aluminum can't go through steel. Those people question that event. A lot of the conservatives question the validity of what we were told about that event. However, one of one of the worst psyops we've ever seen actually is acted out in real time on Donald Trump. They seem to not be able to see that. And that's because of the idol worshiping. Again, what we're seeing now with Trump, this is very much something that we've seen in the Bible in Exodus 32 in 1 Kings chapter 12, right? This is becoming a modern day version of the golden calf. The golden calf in the Bible is looked at as an apostasy. The rejection of faith as once confessed, right? The figure was a cult image made by the Israelites when Moses went up to Mount Sinai. And much like then, we're seeing Donald Trump, and they're they're washing this away by trying to justify this stuff with Trump and their idol worship by one saying that they're not idolizing him or idol worshiping is not going on. When these people actually seem more invested in Trump than they do in God, but they just won't admit that. But one of the things we need to look at when it comes to the golden cap is a lot of the similarities with gold and Donald Trump, including this recent image of Donald Trump with a golden ear and this statue of Donald Trump that they're now carrying around to a lot of these events or a lot of these rallies that Donald Trump is speaking at. So let me start by saying the character of Donald Trump, we all obviously saw in the Illuminati card game, the charismatic leader, enough is enough. You may have heard Hulk Hogan, the speech that he gave, he even said enough is enough before he ripped his shirt off, referencing Donald Trump. Enough was enough. And I said, let trump mania run wild, brother. Enough was enough. And again, we can correlate Donald Trump with gold as well, right? Everybody has seen the pictures of Donald Trump's penthouse, which is literally made of gold, gold thrones, gold toilets, gold everything. Donald Trump is associated with money and gold and riches, right? So a lot of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who are following the alt-right media are obsessing, not realizing that basic mind control to make somebody into an idol. The best way to do that would be to portray him as somebody who's under attack from wicked people, wicked beings, right? Hence the narrative that we see with Trump, the deep state. These people that we know are involved in some of the most disgusting, disturbing acts that we couldn't possibly comprehend involving children, right? Even though these people don't realize they're so blinded, so blinded by this idol that all of this stuff that they've been fed from QAnon about Epstein, which is a government psyop, not to say that Epstein isn't involved in that stuff, of course, he was, and all these people were, but they fed them that narrative. And at the same time, there's thousands of photos of Donald Trump with Jeffrey Epstein. But because they're under such idol worship, they dismiss those photos. And they're more concerned about a list and who's on a list, but they automatically exclude Trump from that list. They will not wake up. And even when a fake assassination attempt, which will only garner more support for him, occurs, their idol worship gets worse. So let me just show you some of the stuff that's out there. It'll blow your mind. Okay, Benny Johnson, I've mentioned him a lot recently because So what you have, you know, is a division, you know, even amongst Esau, you know, dealing with Trump. You know, they're already, you know, against the left, all right? Especially they put the nigger woman up there, you know, <laughs> okay? It's just going to put more you know, tension in the game, okay? But then now you have these, you know, these conservative Christians, okay, which they're, you know, so-called woke, all right? And they're against Trump. They understand that, nah, man, ain't no Republican and Democrat. It's all a sham, you know? So you have that mindset that's out there, okay? But then you still have certain simpletons all right, of Esau, these patriarch Edomites that are still pro-Trump and they've made Trump the hero. Okay, so it's just division from every way. All right, Proverbs 14 and 15 said, The simple believe it every word, but the prudent man look at well to his going. Okay, so you're going to have, you know, this simple mindset, you know, as all this exposure is going out, there's still going to be a population of simpletons, 
okay, that's going to believe every word face value for what they see, you know? And that narrative is going to clash with these other narratives, man. And when they shut this grid down, okay, all this animosity, okay, is going to clash. All right? <laughs> yeah, as the brother put this, I'm going to get that in uh, Isaiah 19, uh, verses 2 through 4. It says, Psalms 146 and 3 to Brother Yaqua, the hopeful lick. It said, putting out your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. All right. And princes is going to leaders, rulers. Okay. And this whole election, all right, a uh, uh, shit show. You know, but that's the only way you can describe it. Okay. This whole, you know, like I say, this uh, uh, Saturday Night Live skit, a reality TV show. Okay. It's basically a reality TV show, man. All right. And Esau has, you know, watered reality down so much and scripted, you know, so much dealing with um, with, 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 with reality, man, that people don't have a clue. There's a lot of confusion, man. Okay? And people have taken hold to all these narratives that this man, you know, has established through his media, through his propaganda, okay, through his psyops. And it's all going to class, especially when they remove the food from the situation. When they shut this grid down, that's when it's going to go to to, to to that level. Okay? And my belief, it's going to be some skirmishes about these elections, man. And it can go, you know, I could be wrong. You know, it can go all the way there based off elections, you know? Well, I know for sure, you know, we know for sure when they um shut this grid down, all right, that this devil, okay, these, these, these Americans, man, going to beat each other's heads, man, because they are already hate each other man okay now let's um let's get this real quick and then we won't go here because i got one more video because why everyone okay is distracted okay matter of fact before i get there let me get this one or why everybody is distracted, these devils, okay, are setting up this infrastructure, man. Okay, so let's go here and then, um, let me get these precepts you brothers got. All right, this is the brother beyond Yasha Allah, Isaiah 19 and 2, and says, I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Okay. You got a thing called blue state because every state is pretty much like a kingdom, you know. And then on a larger scale, man, these Edomite nations, okay, are divided. You know, NATO is divided, EU is divided, okay. Uh, America within America is division, okay. And it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. All right, these Americans, they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And this is where this thing is headed to, man. Okay, it will be civil war. There will be some form of a, a race war. There will be class wars. Okay? I think there's a, uh, brother, get that second address, uh, 13 and 31. Well, it's 30 and 31, Bible shot. All right, Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, okay, and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. Yeah, everything is finna fail, okay, because Esau has the people trusting in witchcraft. Christianity is witchcraft, man, okay? Anything outside of the truth of Yahweh by Shema Shah is a form of witchcraft because it's rebellion. And the scriptures say rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, man. Okay, so all this rebellion, you know, the nigga woman trusting in feminism and, you know, because you look at that picture with uh, Kam it talks about black girl magic and black girl. This is witchcraft, man. All of it is going to fail. Every doctrine, all right, that these people believe in, what they think is real is going to fail. Okay? Because they're used to these things, all right, being some type of comfort. You know, politics and, and Christianity and 
you know, they're used to these things trying to be some type of comfort. Okay. You know, even just, you know, just the uh, uh, the comforts of Babylon itself, man, the, the ability to conveniently, all right, uh, uh, entertain the flesh. You know, people trust in these things, man. Okay. And they're going to do whatever to try to establish, you know, some form of their, uh, of, of their beast to get back to their beast fully functioning. They want to heal Babylon. Okay, healing Babylon ultimately is trying to heal the beast, heal this system, man. Which America, you know, Babylon is a is a is a major part of this beast system, man. Okay, along with uh, uh you know the NATO alliance and the EU. All right, verse on um, four says Isaiah nineteen and four: An Egyptian will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, okay. and whoever, okay, is the president, him, her, whatever. Okay, it don't matter. The Lord is in the driver's seat of these prophecies, man. The, 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 just like Esau puts characters on the scene, where the Lord puts characters on the scene, you put Esau on the scene. These elites, they're characters within the script of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Okay, it says, and a fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Because at the end of the day, it's all about weakening America, man. Okay, it's all about having America extremely weak. All right, America has to be weakened going into this new world order. All right, it has to be division, there has to be rights. You see, this new order, okay, is a whole new form of government that the elites want to bring to the earth. All right, as we're going to get okay, and they want to do a lot of depopulation, they want it to be a purge scenario, man. They want to be starvation and chaos. Okay? So what we're, what we're about to witness is a cruel government, whatever regime comes in, even if it's neither one of them and they just come in with the technocracy, man. Because that's what the New World Order government is, is a, is a, is a technocracy, man. Okay? So let's get this and then we'll go into the video. This second is 13 and 30. It says that he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And that's Yahweh Shai. All right. Well, when Yahweh Shai comes on the scene, man, hey, this place is going to be greatly divided. It says that one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another, man. And, 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 and the ingredients for these prophecies of division okay and violence all the ingredients are there okay it's just a matter of of, 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 of it um pretty much uh the the the, uh, the breaking point you know it's just the, the thing about the breaking point now while they have people distracted with all these you know um you know psyops and all these fake narratives and you know scripted events and you know you know, tell them what can, everything's so scripted, you know. LeBron, you know, Bronny can have, you know, 50 points, you know, <laughs> in the summer league game, and people that, you know, and people are just running to and fro with each distraction, man. You know, and he just has people rock to sleep. Okay, why he's setting this up because he wants to get rid of a lot of you people because he's not gonna have need for you, man, because AI is replacing a lot of jobs. Okay. So let's go here. Let's uh, listen to a little bit of this dealing with AI. Uh, Blocked as a result of artificial intelligence. I will destroy you. There's something that changed in the field of AI in 2017, the more data you pump into it, the more superpowers it gets. Strictly at the lower end, unless you, you're doing right. these advanced things, they're gone. The humanoid is designed to move boxes and stack supplies for large retailers and manufacturers. You know, generative AI, large language models, things like ChatGPT, these are incredibly powerful 
technologies. To believe otherwise is to bury your head in the sand. So, in terms of really replace jobs, is that a worry for you? Customer service is a category that I could see. There are just way fewer jobs relatively soon. Are you scared? We're all scared that a bad guy could grab it. Then something like cyber attacks, you know, could be driven by. An AI. Nvidia ushered in the AI revolution with its game-changing GPU. Quadrillions of calculations a second. It's just insane numbers. ChatGPT was released back in November. Get this Challenger Jobs report. But this month, for the first time ever, they included a category for AI: 3,900 jobs lost. More, more dangerous than mismanaged aircraft design or production maintenance or bad car production. If it gets to be much smarter than us, it'll be. Be very good at manipulation because it will have learned that from us. Very few examples of a more intelligent thing being controlled by a less intelligent thing, and it knows how to program, so it'll figure out ways of getting around some、um, restrictions we put on it. Now you have to know how to use that stuff. So either software works for you, or you work for software, and once the software takes over, you're gone. The World Economic Forum predicts a hundred million jobs will be taken by AI. Don't worry, says the WEF, because it will lead to long-term growth. The report says that in the next few years, three percent of jobs will be automated by AI. By the 2030s, that number will be 30 percent of jobs and 44 percent of workers replaced. If this trend continues, there's a chance AI will do most, if not all, of the jobs. I'm sure everyone knows that AI is about to change the future. It's not just the World Economic Forum either. Most experts believe that AI will replace human jobs. Some believe it'll be 50 million jobs, while others believe 300 million. The numbers are all over the place because, after all, no one can predict the future. But one thing that everyone agrees on: the world will not be the same. Many economists believe that once AI is mature, economic mobility will be worse than what it is now. Meaning, if you're poor. You're gonna stay poor forever, and if you're rich, you're gonna stay rich forever. And as you probably have heard. You see that? And what prophecy do they remind you of? You know, if a brother can get that, you know. Matter of fact, I need to. I need to go there anyway. Well, we, we'll get it. We'll get it. Come on, go there. I'm gonna play. I'll、we'll、go ahead and get the video. I'm、we'll、gonna roll these videos back to back. Then we'll get it. But they're rich and poor. You know, going with the sea hill. We know he calls it all, all small and great, rich and poor. Okay, and AI is setting it up to where the rich, you know, stay rich and the poor stay poor. No middle class. Okay, and he's teaching AI wickedness. Pretty much, he's teaching AI. All right, AI is learning people. And he's teaching AI to govern in wickedness, man. <laughs> okay, this man, hey, this man, this is what he's up to. The, the elites are up to, man. While everyone is caught up, okay, in some black girl magic or, you know, Trump, you know, Trump the hero. This is what's being, all right, uh, 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 set up. Okay. Very soon, ain't gonna be ain't gonna be a need for a president. They're just gonna have an AI character. Okay, ain't gonna be no need for actual, you know, entertainers and rappers. That's why he's letting these niggas expose themselves, man. It's gonna be AI, okay, entertainers, AI movies, because he has all these niggas' image and likeness. He can he can he can make Denzel, okay, with his AI. He can make Denzel immortal, okay. You can make these rappers, you know, according to his 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 digital reality that he's bringing. <laughs> you see, countless times the middle class is already shrinking, the rich are getting richer, and now with AI, the future is even bleaker. Just look around; companies are hiring less and making more. Companies are more productive with less people, thanks to AI. Countries around the world are crashing. Citizens are struggling, and life is getting harder and harder. It's only a matter of time before it's everywhere. Or is it? Let's dig deeper in today's video.
How dangerous is AI? What's likely to happen? And lastly, but most importantly, how can an average person like you and me prepare? There's a reason my videos keep getting restricted and demonetized, and that's because I tell the truth even when it's uncomfortable. So let's talk about the true reality of this AI revolution and what the future holds. I will be honest with you all, and in return, all I ask is that you guys help me out just a little by hitting that like button below. All right, let's start. According to a Rutger University report, seven in 10 US workers say they're very or somewhat concerned about employers using AI in human resource decision-making. Three in 10 are worried about their jobs being eliminated by AI. If you use any of the new AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini, you know how powerful they already are. And what's more important is the fact that they are the worst they will ever be, meaning they're only gonna get better. In fact, there's a company called Cognition Lab that has built a software engineer AI, meaning an AI that is already trying to replace the people who built it. Here's the guy behind Devin as a teenager. Question is, what is the value of 255? Scott. 5,000. 5,000 is the correct answer. It's one, two, three, four, and five can be arranged to, Scott. 60. 60 is the correct answer. The most surprising part of this AI revolution is that many people thought that it would replace low-income jobs like cashiers or servers or truck drivers. And though that is happening, AI is also threatening jobs like sales, accounting, and analysts. A lot of people followed the traditional path, went to college, studied for a degree, started a career in hopes of building up a life. And now AI is ruining their career path and their future plans. The worst part, or the best part, depending on who you are, is that this is all just the beginning. AI is still in its infancy phase, meaning it's here in the S-curve of innovation and adoption. As more and more people adopt AI, more and more tools and businesses will be created to fill the demand until one day AI is doing everything. If we follow this S-curve to the extreme and play it out, Economically speaking, there will be a point where AI will be able to do everything and anything that a business needs. I mean, think about it. Let's say you're a, a car company. There's an AI company that says they will have built robots, systems, and software that can replace your factory. Not work in your factory, just replace it altogether. Meaning, let's say the company gets an order, the software will notice it, it will start ordering components, start manufacturing pieces, and assembling them into a car all without any or minimal human oversight. Again, this is just a disclaimer. This is very far in the future, if possible at all. Current AI technology is still very far off. But one thing that is alarming is the rate of progress in the AI sector. What seems like just a year ago, chatbots were a joke and AI made videos from commands that were like, ugh, this. And now AI can make videos like this. And chatbots can think and learn and fix their mistakes, just like humans. Okay, let's put my text description in, tell it to translate this into this obscure. So this is, you know, what these devils are doing in the background. Okay, they're setting these things up. All right, as a part, as they, you know, they transition into their new order. Okay. They're not going to need, you know, a lot of, you know, of the human labor that they once did in their mind. Okay. This is how these devils are thinking. And this is why, you know, they, they, they uh, uh, push their juice so hard, man. Okay. Which a lot of people got deleted by their juice. And, you know, there's more to come. Okay. And when they shut this grid down, they plan, all right, through, 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 through pestilence, through mercenaries, through UN troops, through civil war, people turning on each other, okay, deleting a lot more, okay? Esau is, 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 is rolling out a whole new way that he's going to govern the world, and it's going to be centralized, okay? And then and, and we're in the beginning phase, okay, of this man, all right? as he's introducing the new way of things man all right that uh that lockdown and 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 the c19 okay 
was pretty much the platform <laughs> the devil has been building on okay to segue into this what he called the fourth industrial revolution okay and to to, to really implement this thing he has to bring poly crisis man i want to get this word poly crisis and i believe i got uh one more video let's get this word poly crisis um brother elder ariala all right out of dallas brought this out all right on his own path to the motb lesson yesterday so you got poly crisis says the concept of a poly crisis refers to a state where multiple crises intertwine their causes and process all right in extra inextricably all right bound together to create compound effects okay so when this man shuts the grids down okay it's going to cause you know a crash in the money okay no one's going to have access to money okay traffic is going to stop okay emergency response is going to be disabled all right it's, it's going to be a poly crisis man which is going to lead to famine okay hyper violence okay pestilence all right and then and it's all leading to him presenting the motb as the solution as we're going to go into this um I want to go into this video here. I think this is the last one. Then we get a few pre-sales before we wrap it up. All right. This is uh, uh cause this this is what it lead to, man. The technology going under your skin as he's constantly sharpening his AI. Okay, he he wants to sync you with the AI. Okay, so let's play a little bit of this. just released a few weeks welcome everyone to the wake up call channel i want to share this ad with you that samsung just released a few weeks ago and i want to thank a subscriber over on the website a warrior who shared this with me and again everybody on the website i want to thank everybody for being over there and for all the great stuff that everybody shares with one another because it's nearly impossible for all of us to see everything that's happening at once that's why we need to all point point this out to one another, make people aware. And as most of you know, I've covered many times over the years, the transition of the cell phone going underneath the skin. The mindset that people have is that that's a crazy notion, yet they don't realize that they've been conditioned with all of this wearable technology for the next phone to be inside of them. And the newest ad from Samsung is called You and AI as One. Not you and I as one, you and AI as one. And remember, a new world order is a one world order. Everything merges as one. One government, one religion, one language, one gender, one everything with artificial intelligence. You could even say that some of the conditioning going on right now with genders and what is a man, what, a, what is a woman, and all these other things that we've heard over the last couple of years is leading towards once man and machine and technology are is mixed, of course, being a new human race. And that is exactly what this is about. That's conditioning for a trans human race. So if you haven't seen this commercial, let me play it for you when it comes to Samsung. And again, I covered back in February on a channel <laughs> no longer around that Samsung was releasing ads then called the next big thing is you and already just five or six months later, they've already transitioned from marketing this as the next big thing is you to being the next big thing is you and AI as one. And you can see the transition going from the next big thing being you, right? Because they're saying the next cell phone, the next thing 6G is you and people out there not picking up on the programming. And again, this goes back to Nokia, even talking about this at the World Economic Forum, that 6G is going to be inside the body. You will have such a good digital twin that you'll be able to go into the metaverse, into a virtual reality world, turn a dial, pull a switch, feel around, and actually change it in the real oh, plant. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is not this is not far, far off. I mean, the physical and the digital worlds, they will grow together. And the result is exactly what you just said. 
I wanted to ask when you all think we're going to move from this form factor to something that's on your face glasses and compute when computing's all on the edge. All right. 50 seconds. Who wants to answer quickly? I think it will go. It, it will. First of all, it will definitely happen. I, I, I was talking about 6G earlier, which is around 20, 2030. I would say that by then, definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore be, be the usual kind of the most common interface. Wow. It's, it, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. So inside of you, you and AI as one. Here is the commercial. It's frightening to see just how much people can't figure out what's happening, where they even talk to you about these things like, well, with AI, they'll know how hot your refrigerator is. It'll know when you're asleep in the room to shut off the TV. And people just are more and more comfortable with their technology, not realizing what it actually is, and then allowing this, not just government control using artificial intelligence, which we all know about when it comes to the smart meters and the smart tech that they're trying to implement in your home so that you could put smart thermostats inside your home thinking that it's more convenient for you to control the thermostat via your phone. But really, what you're doing is giving the government, when they release the carbon footprint, the ability to shut on and off your air and your heat as they please, which they will do, which they're already doing. But look at this horror story that is AI and you as one. Life. It gets messy. There's ups and downs. Round and round. Chaos. And calm. It's going to be brilliant. Just like it's supposed to be. Because with AI, at least the washer knows what it's washing. The fridge remembers what's in it. The vacuum cleans when you ask it to. The oven can tell what you're cooking. The TV shows you the moments that matter. And the pictures are perfect. We're ready for all of it. All right, you and AI as one. All right, and ultimately it's going to go into the sea hill, and they're presenting it, you know, as uh, you know, this ultra convenience. Okay, this uh, uh, ultra enhancement of life. All right, but ultimately they're just building a technology, uh, technological prison okay that's that's what they're building all right because the whole thing is for the poor to stay poor and there never be a rebellion against this devil's wickedness man okay this man is trying to all right uh, extend his rulership <laughs> you see through his technology man <laughs> so let's go here i got one more all right let's play a little bit of this and uh This is what all roads lead to, man. All the division, you know, all the uh the soap operas. This is what's really this is this is this is the agenda. No matter who's in office, these are the agendas that don't change. Okay, the, the presidential office is a revolving door and pretty much it's just a figurehead. All right, that's why you know the the the, 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 the they're they're just characters. You know, the majority of the people that you see on TV are characters or actors. They, 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 you know, what they call the um, Manchurian candidate. Okay, there's a lot of uh, 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 MK Ultra. Okay. But this is, this is the agenda that's not going to change, man. And this is what it leads to. So let's play a little bit of this. Uh, They have essentially said that this is the only way, this will be the only way to prove you have legal identity. And so if you don't participate in that system, as far as the state or the, you know, the private sector is concerned, you don't exist. So um, by not participating in that system, you're inherently excluded from the economic system and really essentially everything. You know, it's going to be a problem reaction solution type of situation where they've already made the solution. They've already developed what they want to be. Uh, the new financial governance system after this new Bretton Woods moment. They just need some sort of 
big event on the scale of World War II or some large event that's you know equally disruptive in order to be like, all right, now it's time for a new financial governance system. About a year ago, while speaking at the Global Finance Summit in Paris, French President Emmanuel Macron said the world needs a public financial shock to fight global warming. Around the same time, World Economic Forum founder and executive chairman Klaus Schwab also made a similar statement about... The best business to start this year is what I do, and it got me all of these awards and accreditations for doing over 60 M's in my online... Revamping the global economy. In his words, every country from the United States to China must participate, and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. We need a great reset of capitalism, Schwab added in an article published on the non-governmental organization's website. According to popular investigative journalist Whitney Webb, what we are witnessing is the birth of a new international monetary system, a replacement for the current Bretton Woods system built solely on the blockchain to aid the complete surveillance and censorship of every aspect of our lives. Whitney's warnings are based on the words of several global elites and WEF puppets like Macron, as well as the words of Mark Carney, former governor of the Bank of England and Bank of Canada, and the UN Special Envoy for Climate Action and Finance, who said the three pillars of the New World Order are digital IDs, CBDCs, and ESG. Now, when you go into, all right, we know what the digital IDs you know, that's going to be included in the uh, C Hill. And with this election, like I say, man, they can have it to where, you know, the election is stolen. All right. As they say, and they can blame it on, you know, the migrants. You know, they was able to vote. And that's because, you know, um, they need a new system of IDs. You know, so that's a narrative that they can push, you know, just speculating because there's so many ways that they can go. All right, we're just watching, you know, as this thing unfolds and reporting. <clears throat> but the digital ID, okay, and the CBDCs with central bank digital currency will all be included in the CHIP and the ESG. That's more so for the companies, you know, that's how companies pretty much um, rate themselves, you know, um, environmental, social, and governance. You know, that's what ESG stands for environmental is how a company impacts the planet social how a company impacts people including staff customers and the community and governance how a company is governed including its international systems practice controls and procedures and what we're seeing with this new order is that these elected government officials are going to be replaced by private technocrats okay the money is going to be uh, 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 controlled, distributed, okay, and restricted by private technocrats, man. Okay, which y'all going to answer directly to the elites. You see, Esau, uh, he's, you know, he's he's cutting uh, he's cutting out a lot of these moving parts and centralizing it, man. Okay, it's going to be a world religion of Satan. It's going to be a world currency, digital. Okay, and everyone on the earth will be a world citizen. Okay, under the under this technocracy, okay, which is going to be the, the elites are going to be the overlord of this uh, 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 new order. Okay, so let's let it play a little more. In a recent discussion with Mark Goodwin, writer and editor in chief at Bitcoin Magazine. Whitney warns that all world governments are pushing this new world order agenda, proudly sponsored by the ultra-rich and powerful, including Silicon Valley executives like Larry Fink, who wants to tokenize all existing assets and commodities, as well as the natural world. Whitney warns that from forests to rivers, mountains and lakes, everything will soon become a commodity, owned and traded by the super-rich and powerful to make them even stronger and move them closer to their goal of completely dominating the rest of us. During the conversation with Goodwin, Whitney discusses two important parts of the New World Order plans, digital IDs and natural world tokenization, warning that Schwab, Fink, and useful puppets like Macron are on the verge of achieving their grand plans and how disastrous that would be for us all.
As we bring you clips from the video, please take a little time to like the this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Everything you do helps with the YouTube algorithm and immensely contributes to the channel's growth. Thank you, and enjoy the video. In, in this context, I think the digital ID is a key enabler of, of the surveillance, knowing what everyone is, is doing at the transactional uh, level and being able to tweak that micromanagement based on a person's activity because the digital ID isn't just limited to the financial system, right? It's like your travel, uh, your health history, your career history, your education credentials, your access to telecommunications, social media, the internet. Um, <laughs> You know, with the new AI era, right, they can fuse all that data, analyze it, you know, and depending on how they develop that AI algorithm, use it to uh, control people really in, in unprecedented ways. I think the, the digital ID and the CBDC and its private sector equivalence project is something that we're always sort of intended to be the same system. So there's documents from the UN, from the BIS and in related groups that are sort of been working, yeah, that have been working on this for years. Um, that, that essentially frame one is essential to the other, uh, using words about, you know, this is inclusionary, um, sort of, you know, the whole, um, I guess, marketing behind digital ID is that everyone needs a legal ID because otherwise they're unable to access essential services, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so the idea is we all have to be included in the system and they directly link that to the concept of financial inclusion and banking the unbanked, which you brought up earlier. But inherently these systems actually function in, in an exclusionary way mm -hmm. um, based on how they've been set up. You know, they have essentially said that this is the only way, this will be the only way to prove you have legal identity. And so if you don't participate in that system, as far as the state or the, you know, the private sector is concerned, you don't exist. So um, by not participating in that system, you're inherently excluded from the economic system and really essentially everything. Um, <laughs> and there's no doubt, okay, that this is what John the Revelator has seen, okay? There's no doubt this is the system that John all right, seen on the Isle of Patmos in the vision. You know, he's seen this system. Okay, and that's why he detailed it as he detailed it. So let's go here. All right. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 14. It says, And deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live, okay? And that, 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 that had the wound by a sword according to pagan Rome, okay? Which uh, it fell, you know, to Jake and what they call the uh, Dark Ages, okay? But it was healed during the Renaissance. And ever since then, Esau, Edom has rebuilt this beast system, okay? And the Lord has allowed this man access to certain technology, Okay, and even though Jake, you know, came up with a lot of inventions, you know, Esau Edom, you know, was able to come up, you know, with a, a lot of technology and mass produce it and also, you know, um, advance it. Okay, to this point that we see now, to the point to where his technology is like a miracle, man. Okay, that what AI can do, you know, and people are in awe with these things, man. Okay, because you go into a miracle. All right, I think the, the Greek word is Simeon. All right, you, you go to the word miracle. All right, which is Simeon in the Greek. And you go, okay, it says a sign, all right, a prodigy, a portent, i.e., an unusual occurrence transcended the coming course of nature. Okay, transcending the coming course of nature, man. This man's technology, you know, he's been able to do miracles on the left-hand side. All right, and people worship these miracles, man. Okay, people worship this technology. Okay, look at uh, how people are pretty much one with their phones. You know, this is uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. 
that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast that he should be killed now you heard she said you know if you don't have that digital id which is going to be okay a part of that c hip okay the motb if you don't have that digital id you can't participate in finances man and there's a scripture that say when you take a man wages you pretty much take his life you know i read the other day i can't find it um but you go to the word kill okay because the masses are already worship the beast you know he just has to bring a crisis to make people beg you know for uh for this sea hill um that's not it this might be it here all right so you get this word in greek strong's g 615 apartino apartino all right so it says um to kill in any way all right which we know is prophesied that some you know brothers you know uh, um will um be beheaded you know some believers okay um to destroy to allow to perish you know uh i want this this discreet word should have looked it up before yeah here we go so you get the root word of it okay strong's g 575 apa 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 okay which means what a separation a separation of a part from a whole okay and this is the straight gate you know when we're going to be separated from all right uh, uh uh you know the privileges and perks of this society for not bending the knee you know there's going to be some you know that are actually you know put to death you know there's going to be some that's just separate okay so this is part of the straight gate for not bending the knee you know and this is what we prepare our minds for man and what we pray all right to be covered in these times man to have the spirit to go through with these things man okay because without that digital id okay you would not be able to participate and that digital id is going to be included in that c hip which is going to include all right the cbdc the central bank digital currency man okay so without that device all right they're going to be some beheaded you know and it'll be a, 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 and everyone else is going to be separated from the whole from the rest of society it's like we're it's going to be like we don't exist okay and this is what this man is going to do at the end of his rulership but he's going to fail so let's get this you know i gotta uh hear it out but uh let's get this you know um look at this in joe you know i say it's a lot to report on these days this is on uh, joe 5 and on uh, 12 it said he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise he take the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong okay so he's going to fail all right the lord is going to let him you know get to a particular point all right that's already prescribed you know in the scripture and then he's going to fail you know hey the water brother you know the water brother i got okay. yeah yeah yep yeah. I read that the other day. This is a brother GMS Hawaii is Espanol. Okay. Um, this is a rock 34 and 22. It says, He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him. Okay. And he that defrauded the labor of the hire is a blood shelter, man. And if we don't, all right, and us not accepting this device, bending the knee, that's going to be a hey, us, you know, pretty much Esau taking our, our, our living. Okay. <laughs> you see so he said any that would not worship the beast should be killed okay and you're going to show that you worship the beast through taking this motb okay won't be able to buy and sell without it won't be able to participate in society without it man so he that taking his neighbor's wages is like one that slayed him man <laughs> you know i remember that in my 
and my roller dicks you at the water bro so this is where we at with it man you know why uh, jake you know and these simpleton americans you know arguing about a candidate all right this devil is causing division and he's uh, uh rolling out his motb system okay <laughs> uh, uh right before our eyes man you know and he's gonna shut this grid down the lord gonna put the spirit on him to shut this grid down what you're gonna call poly crisis to an already divided society and he's gonna bring the motb in as the solution man okay this is this, this is according to prophecy so that's the point you know lord will you brothers all right and you sisters edify once again and give all praise unto glory unto and how well by Hashem, how shall by Hashem, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings. I taste of the hopeful, like Shalom.